Hi everyone, I'm Moody Boo, the Fragrant Nomad, and thank you for coming back. I still can't believe you do. I only post once a week, but I appreciate it. <laughs> and if you feel like it, go ahead and subscribe if you haven't already. And maybe turn that thumbs up red. That'd be cool. And then maybe if you want to ring that bell. Just saying. You can do all that if you want. You can also not do any of that if you want. So I'm here today to talk about a perfume I've been meaning to talk to you about for a while. I just have not gotten around to it. And that is by Perfumology and it's Clutch. Clutch is found on Perfumology's website. It's one of their perfumes. And I'll just read you what they have on their website. Crisp air outside and warm inside. Clutch opens with peppery eleni and smoke, revving high and taking off with smoking tires. You connect with the car and to the road itself. Your heart pumping, filled with adrenaline. Ginger is the engine driving clutch, the part that started the project after Justin found the essential oil. Our ginger has an exhilarating spice note deep in its earthy root. Red cedar and oak balancing in the heart. Shifting gears to the base, luxurious tanned leather keeps you comfortable and confident with vanilla and musk. And this was one time Fragrantica was right on, but I just wanted to read their little snippet there. Um, do I picture driving a car with this? No, not at all. Not even in the least. Um, and honestly, I don't get a lot of Eleni or Musk for that point. Mostly what I get is just a hint of smoke. Um, that ginger note. That's what's killing me. It is so beautiful. So it's about the ginger and the woody notes and a little bit of vanilla and a little bit of really good fine leather. Not much. I don't get it. This is not a leather perfume to me at all. It's on the verge of being gourmand. So there is a, the ginger note in Ani is very similar to Clutch, but that isn't the whole story. And in a nutshell, if you were to take Ani by Nishine and have it breed with Rivolite and Periel by Plume Impression, to me that's clutch. These two equal this. It's got the ginger note from Ani, but it's also got that, that warm, fruity, a hint spicy, woody kind of a, a smell like Rivolite has. So. This stuff is so good. It's so good. Because these are two favorites. Now I get very tired of Ani. Ani's a beast. And it's like Tom Ford's Tobacco Vini for me. I get really tired of wearing it very quickly. It's almost too rich. You know, it's like eating a very decadent dessert. It's like you're really into it at first, but after a few bites, you're like, whoa, I got to stop. I can't do this anymore. Or I'm going to make myself sick. It's like that. Ani and uh, Tobacco Vini are ones that I have to walk away from for quite some time before I can wear them again because they're just a lot. And this is not that. This has that beautiful ginger note from Ani, but it leaves out all that intensity, all that tangibility, all that serious thick chewiness that Aunt Ani has. And it has more of the air of Rivolite Imperial. More warmth, sweetness is more subtle. It's not in your face. It's not a beastly kind of perfume. It's not a wall that people walk through when they walk into your scent bubble. No nose rocket, nothing like that. It's gorgeous. And here's the kicker, it's under $100 for 50 mLs. We know that Ani isn't. Neither is Rivolite Imperial so it's really a good deal. The performance on it is nothing like Ani, obviously, and it's closer to Rivolite Imperial, but it's not quite there either. Two sprays, I get six, seven, eight hours right in there. It just depends um, <clears throat> on how hydrated my skin is and um, 
how good of a spray I put on, you know, if it was a full spray or just a toot toot kind of thing. Uh, there's a lot of factors as, as to why I give it a range of time, but on average, probably seven hours um, I get with its performance. Uh, it projects about arm's length for the first hour, it comes to about wrist to elbow length for the rest of the wearing. It doesn't become a skin scent, it just poof, is gone. And <clears throat> completely unisex, every bit as much as these two are. Um, absolutely down the middle of the road unisex. I think you could wear this um, all year round, but in the cooler months, I think you could get a, well, I think you could wear it during the day year round too, especially if you just use one spray. But it does have a bit of powderiness to it. Uh, just like Rivolite Imperial, there's just this, not powdery, but well, I don't have another word for it, so I guess that's the only word I can use is powdery. Just to where it's not as moist, it feels like it, it feathers out a little more than say Ani, which is a definite line of demarcation with that thing. Everything is, is absolute with Ani, whereas these two, there's a little more subtlety to them in their projection as well. Oh, Clutch again has this kind of toasted coconut vibe, uh, same as Rivolite Imperial for me. Neither one of them had coconut, but it gives me this toasted coconut vibe, which is crazy. One of my favorite smells, one of my favorite flavors. It's just amazing. I believe you can only get Clutch on Perfumology's website, but it's like $95 for a 50 ml. They do send samples um, with their perfumes, in my past experience anyway. I think this is a, a fun perfume with the potential of being more of a formal kind of a perfume. Um, I think with one spray, it could be formal. You'd have to be careful though, because there is that hint of powderiness to it. So, and I just don't wear powdery perfumes out in public too much because I'm always so worried that translates into allergies. It's just all up in the air, but that's me. So, <clears throat> Um, I think it could definitely be a frisky perfume. Um, there's no sexy to it at all, but it has almost that, that gourmand kind of feel to it. And my husband loves gourmands. I haven't tried this one on him, but he loves gourmand perfumes on me. So I always think of gourmands with the potential of being a frisky, um, in flagrante delicto kind of a perfume, um, potential. And I don't know about um, going out now, festivities with families, you know, smaller groups of people, absolutely. But if you're going out to for fun and going out with big groups of people, again, where everybody's signature scent is competing, I don't think this would be the one that I would reach for in that case. So, amazing. There's another one that I want I want to say it's like Verdu or Duvert, something like that, that I really like. They sent me the sample and, and I'm planning on getting that one too. And if and when I do, I'll talk about it. All right, so that's it for this one. Um, kind of a mini compare and contrast of Ani by Nishine, uh, Rivolite Imperial by Plume Impression, and Clutch by Perfumology. Oh, it's so good. Ah, okay. So anyway, that's it. I hope you come back and don't forget to like and subscribe and ring the bell and comment if you want. If you don't, it's all good. I still love you. And use your own nose. Peace.